Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary and today I'm going to talk about ankle holsters and are they right for you? Personally, I've never used an ankle holster up until recently, so I thought I'd do a video on it. And what really inspired me, I guess, to look into an ankle holster was uh, I was out at the range here um, some weeks back and one of my fellow club members here uh, carries a firearm on their ankle. Actually, they dual carry one on each ankle and uh this member happens to be a, a retired police officer and uh, we got to talking and, and he was like you know it's really uh he, he just couldn't say enough about how i guess secure they felt and stuff and so i decided to i got somebody shooting massive something over there but anyhow uh i decided to look into it so i did a little bit of research uh because like i said i've never had an ankle holster and one thing i found a lot of people um focused on regarding ankle holsters was a a strap that goes up above or around the calf area for the you know for to hold weight and to keep everything kind of from shifting around and twisting around on your ankle and i said that makes sense because you know i have some i have pretty big calves i'm a, like a full figured calf person you know and so uh i i was looking and uh even the one i have on today is is just a hair maybe small it's barely big enough to go around the upper part of my calf and so i picked out two and i'll go over the one i have the other one hasn't arrived yet so down the line i'll probably do another video on that but this one here that i'm that i'm wearing that i walked up and did that for you so you can kind of see if you could tell i had it on or not this one i'm wearing um the first thing i did was i just put it on right and i kind of wore it for an hour or so with nothing in it nothing on it and to see how it would feel, to see if there was any rubbing or anything like that. And it did really well. And then I put a firearm in it with, an, an, a, whole, uh, with a magazine in it because it has a mag, a spot for an extra mag. And I put uh, just no, no rounds, just an empty uh, firearm with a, with a, well, a firearm with an empty mag and another empty mag in the mag holster part of it. And just walked around with it for an hour or so. Make sure there was no rubbing. It wasn't moving around or anything like that. And then I've put a, you know, loaded up the magazines, put it all in there as it would be. And it's been doing really well. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. So I did pick it up on Amazon. I will put a link to it in the description down below here once I, uh, um, you know, put the video together and all that. So you'll know what it is. But anyhow, so I figured I'd go through and uh, walk you through this particular ankle holster I picked out and why I picked it out. And uh, what I think of it. So I have my Glock 43 in it right now. And I have the magazine in the Glock loaded. I don't have one in the chamber. And I have the spare magazine loaded. So there's 12 rounds there. So that's the weight I have on it right now. So let me go ahead and sit down. And I'll show you kind of how it is. So. All right, so here I am. I've got another camera here. I'm going to try to, hopefully, it's going to catch everything and show you what I have here. Now, I'm wearing LAPD, uh, like, tactical pants, and they, they seem to go over everything well. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, let's see, see here. here. Let's get this camera in, in view here. I'm going to show you here what I have. Now, I'm just wearing regular tennis shoes today and uh and only ankle high socks because i wanted to see how it was going to feel with you know just right up against the skin and stuff like that and feel while wearing just some regular tennis shoes so um because i'm still testing this thing out and as you can see here the uh glock 43 is right here right on the side of my of my leg and kind of right above the ankle so this part here this little flap here is is kind of supposed to be loose because the velcro's on the other side and i think it's just to protect your your little uh ankle knuckle or whatever you call that right here so but the glock 43 fits in this really well and really snug my magazine wasn't locked because i just put it in um so I, I haven't felt a lot of movement from it shifting around too much i will say that because i have these massive calves um the spare mag being back here uh is really close to rubbing into my skin so if i had a larger mag here i don't know if i would like 
this particular holster. And as you can see, it's LPV products. Um, so like I said, I'll put a link in the description, but <clears throat> this here is really tight and really holds, holds the weight of this using my calf as kind of the leverage point. Um, but because I have such a large calf, I have noticed in certain situations, so a longer mag, you could see it would kind of dig in. So, uh, that, I don't know if this is going to be a great holster for anything larger than this for me, but, uh, for the, for the 43, it's doing all right. And I'm, I'm guessing that if the holster, if the extra mag was stored over here, it'd be better. Now, going back to this upper part here, you can see I've got a lot of extra, um, of the nylon here and that's because it doesn't have enough to go around for the loop back here um, and that's because i have such large calves uh, this was the largest size i could get for this so um yeah, yeah. so let me uh, let me move this camera over to the other side so you can see the velcro side of it um but as you can see there uh it, it it i tell you what it it supports it well it really does um i wish that the upper strap had a little bit more on it so i had a little bit more overlap and i'll show you that on this other view of the other side here as i go through the velcro but um other than that and the the holster uh or the extra mag slot being on the very back of the calf if you have large calves like me yeah it's gonna rub it's gonna rub you if you have a if you have a tall mag in there so the glock 43's six round mag is about as high as I want to go or else it's going to be uncomfortable so um, but you know for a backup firearm on the ankle that's not bad um, I'm pretty impressed with it um, you know minus the few drawbacks that are mostly related to my calf so all right let's get this other angle here and I'm gonna unvelcro it so you can see it <laughs> all right I really hope I have this camera in the right angle so so to take this off or to put it on, you have the, the nylon strap here, and I just do it all, undo the whole thing. And then the upper part here is just Velcro like that. And then the ankle part like that, and it comes right off. So there you go. So you have your the part here that goes up on the top part of your calf, and then the part that goes around your actual ankle. And the Velcro on here feels really good. It, it, it yeah, it, it almost feels like uh, if you've ever sprained uh, your wrist or your ankle, and you get one of those, um, you get one of those uh, devices, or whatever that helps you know keep everything in place so it can so it can heal. That's the kind of material it feels like, and I, I really like it. I really do. It feels good. I don't even hardly notice i have it on and it doesn't cause me to sweat now of course it's cold out and uh, we'll see when summer comes around but one of the things i was concerned about this holster was on the back here there's two um i don't know what you call these things rivet but uh, rivet snaps or something like that and i was worried about those rubbing on me but honestly nope i don't even feel them so uh, i was pretty happy with that and then for storage one thing i like is i can take it off and then it just kind of kind of wraps up all in one like this and uh yeah i just set it set it down and uh so when i come home i just take it off wrap it all up and boom it's good to go so uh like i said never being really a holster uh, uh an ankle holster person uh i figured uh you know i'd do some research on it and i'm i'm happy i did i'm happy i looked into this because honestly even with just the weight of a 43 loaded if i didn't have this part uh, this thing would probably move around on me and it would bug me so i'm pretty happy with it now i haven't done a whole lot of trying to draw from it and stuff yet um and honestly i don't know if i will i don't see an ankle holster being something that i need to be ready to just draw real quick from you know what i mean it's more in my mind um a backup or um if i'm in a situation where i can't have a normal carry firearm like in the back of my um you know the, my, the small of my back or on my side or something maybe i'm at a formal event or something like that 
at least I have something on me. And uh, so, of course, you know, my philosophy is never to be rushing into the heat of a, a situation. So you would have time to pull this out if you had to in those situations. Now, I get it. There's people who are going to say, well, you never know how a situation is going to unfold. True. So I don't know if this would be your end all be all. But, um, you know, for many situations, especially like if you're driving cross country, you're going to be in your car for, uh, you know, six, seven hours driving. Maybe this isn't a bad solution. So you don't have to deal with your, your firearm in the small, your back or on your side. You can put it in the console while you're driving, but you still have this right there. And when you're in your car seat, you can just boom, reach down and get it if you need it. So hopefully you, know, you never do. But anyhow, that's my thought on this thing. Um, yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed. I have a second one coming, so we'll see. This one was actually, the, the, the other one coming was, was rated just above this one. So I went through Amazon and picked the top two that I could find that had an ankle strap, or that had the, uh, the above the calf strap. And uh, the, second, the, the second highest rating one I found came in. And like I said, that's the LPV products. And I'll put a link down to it in the description. But uh, I'd be curious to know if you, uh, you use an ankle holster, uh, what do you recommend and stuff like that? Because honestly, to me, I'm new at an ankle holster. And uh, so far, this guy, like I said, with a 43, it does great. Um, with a longer mag, it's going to dig into me. But like I said, I have full figured calves, so uh, it is what it is. But um, yeah, you know, let me know your thoughts. And if you ankle holster, what you use, um, because I'm really considering just making something around my ankle a standard in uh in my collection of holsters and stuff that i use practically so all right that's really all i have for you on this video i appreciate you watching thank you don't forget you can check me out on instagram and twitter and you can go check out my website at citizenpew.com where i have some merch i've redone it all for the year i'm still waiting for my new merchandise layout to come to me so i can start wearing it for my videos so i'm still wearing one of my older uh, sweater uh, sweatshirts right now, but I do uh, I did revamp everything came out with a couple new things And so if you're interested you can go to citizenpew.com and check it out uh, Hopefully down the line whenever I hit the subscriber the subscriber count I need in YouTube It'll be available on YouTube as well. So all right, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching y'all have a good day